YouTube. Welcome to the Eugene Torto YouTube channel. If you're not subscribed and would like to, just go down there and subscribe. Hit the notification bell and uh, like and share. Uh, today's video is going to be, uh, probably turn out to be totally useless, but uh, I'm going to try it anyway. I got uh, two smog pumps or air pumps, whichever you feel like calling them. This is the one I just took off. This is a stock one that I've had on there for a long time. And this is a remanufactured one, which I had laying around for a long time. Uh, basically, what I did was the intake port on this is actually behind this plastic cover here. I uh, epoxied that with some JB Weld to cover it up. And then I drilled and tapped. Hopefully, you can see that real good right there. So it will suck in air through there. And I clogged up these two holes, too. I don't know if you can see that or not, hopefully. Yeah, these two holes here I clogged up with some 5-minute uh, epoxy. I actually don't expect this to work, but I'm going to try it. I'm going to bolt it on and uh, bolt it on and uh, start the motor up. And uh, before I even bother running any lines, I'm going to stick a vacuum gauge right on here to see if it draws a vacuum. Uh, I don't expect it to draw a vacuum at idle. But uh, around 3,000 RPM, I expect it to draw a vacuum. So uh, I'll get these sucker bu that sucker bolted on, and uh, we'll see what happens. Hopefully, it won't fly apart on me or anything, but we'll see. Okay, we're up and running. And there's actually a vacuum. And you can see that there. There's a Now, this is, this is the tricky part. You see, uh, I know it makes vacuum. And uh, got to hook it up to the crankcase in a way that it don't make too much vacuum. I only want maybe a couple inches of vacuum. Less, definitely under five inches of vacuum. I just want to stay under that. Uh, Another thing i got to figure out is how I want to hook this up. Because right now I don't have that bolted up. In fact, this doesn't line up with this one. So, uh, see if I can get a better shot of that. Yeah, this here, where it bolts to the uh, air system and the air valve, I'd have to uh, disconnect those valves so it pumps into a uh, some type of evaporation can or something. and. Uh, so that's another problem I'll have to solve. But uh, another question is, is it necessary? I don't know. Uh, I guess the real test would be to hook this up directly to there, temporarily, and then run the vacuum gauge on the other valve cover to see if it holds vacuum while the engine's idling. And what happens when you run it up? So, I guess that'll be the next test. I'll be back here in a few minutes. Okay, at idle, there's no vacuum.
the question. Should I leave it that way? I don't know. That's a good question. I think I'm going to put the other one back on for now. And, uh, until I decide what I do and maybe do a little more research on it. Uh, the whole idea, if anyone's uh, wondering why I'm doing this, when you provide a vacuum in the crankcase, it helps the, cil the uh, cylinder seal better. And it cuts down on windage and, the, uh, and creates more horsepower. Uh, whether that's good on a street engine or not, because what you're doing is you're sucking in the piston rings against the walls more. And that will put more wear and tear on the piston rings. So I guess it's, uh, I got to decide now what I want to do. Uh, if I decide to keep it, I'm going to have to uh, come up with a better system for the uh, evacuating the oil and a way to control the vacuum so there's never too much vacuum. And uh, could be when this is under fully load, I so I have to measure vacuum under full load, see what happens because you're going to get a lot more blow by gases when this sucker say pulling a 11% uh, gra uh, grade under wide open throttle. Uh, that's a lot different than sitting here in the garage. So, the only reason I only did this was just for experimentation and fun. Uh, hope everybody enjoyed the video. Uh, and uh, everybody have a happy YouTube day and God bless. Remember to, uh, to subscribe. Go down there, subscribe if you haven't. I'm trying. I'm getting really close to 100 subscribers. That sounds like that's absolutely nothing for YouTube, but uh, for me, I think that's great. Uh, like I said, everybody have a happy YouTube day and enjoy. God bless.